What's up everybody, professional wrestler Chris Wilde here with another update. A quick one this time on some things that have been going on with the Philadelphia Eagles recently. I'll start off with the most recent thing and that's that today, the Eagles signed safety Andrew Sandejo to one year contract, not sure of the details, but from what I gather they got him pretty cheap and rightfully so. Now this is a safety that has been injured a lot uh, the past couple years. As a matter of fact, the last time that we all remember him is when he got his head driven into the turf, when he got pile driven into Lincoln Financial Field by LeGarrett Blunt. First down from the 11. One of my Le absolute Blunt. favorite plays. Touchdown! Ever. So those are the negatives. The guy can't stay healthy. He's a little bit older. He's 32 years old. Um, he, he got killed by LeGarrett. However, the positives, this is a depth signing. After Malcolm Jenkins and Ronnie McLeod, you really don't have much there. So you kind of need somebody, a vet, that maybe you can rely on. And I think they're trying to move a, away from Corey Graham. Corey Graham did well for us the past couple of years, except for that 4th and 15 that we remember in that Titans game um, that lost us the game. Um, it's time to move on. And I think Sunday he'll come in here, and he can make an impact if he needs to. The guy's been known to be a hard hitter. Um, he plays defense fairly well. And our secondary right now, we've got a lot of talented guys, and I think you bring this guy in, um, it can help. And that's, speaking of the secondary, the Eagles also signed this week, re-signed, cornerback Ronald Darby. Uh, now, Darby was supposed to go visit the Chiefs and possibly sign there. The Eagles decided to re-sign him. Got to be honest, instant reaction. I hated it. Uh, Darby has played well at times. Don't get me wrong. There's a lot of highlights of him out there. But look, man, this is a dude that uh, for some reason I see a lot of the back of his jersey, and I hate that. Um, I don't think he's one of the top corners out there. However, if you look at the free agent crop of cornerbacks that the Eagles had to choose from, I think he's the best out of them. So signing him back, I'll see how, how he does. He is hurt, so he might miss some games. But the Eagles signed him, and they I think it's, it's going to be like an $8 million cap. It makes you scratch your head, but at the same time, I can kind of understand why. This secondary, it's going to be interesting to see how it shapes up. I hope they let all these guys battle. Again, Darby's probably not even going to be able to battle because he's hurt. Uh, so, yeah, you signed a guy for a year that, that's probably not going to play the whole year. I don't know. Uh, but some of the other guys are guys that get excited about. Avante Maddox coming into his second year. Um, be nice to see how he shapes up and into things. Um, I'm a big Russell Douglas guy. You know, I think that's a guy that can move into safety. Uh, hopefully they might they give him a shot there. Jalen Mills coming back from injury. I like Jalen. Uh, again, he's kind of fits in Darby's area where he's good sometimes and he's bad other games. I mean, but let him compete. And Sidney Jones. Sidney Jones, this is make or break year for him. All right? Because if, in my personal opinion, the guy's a bust. After seeing him play uh, last year, always getting hurt, never being completely healthy, I've kind of had enough of the guy, but I'll give him a shot. Again, let him battle it out. And we were all ready to get rid of Nelson Aguilar after that horrific second year that he had. Uh, in the third year, we all saw, man, he had a, nine, a clutch um, nine-catch Super Bowl. So I'm willing to give Sidney Jones this year. I'm willing to give him this year. But if he's anything like we saw before, get his ass out of town, man. Um, nothing new on the running back front. We're all waiting for that shoe to drop. I heard earlier in the week that the Eagles were involved in Trade talks with the 49ers. The 49ers have 17 running backs on their roster now uh, after signing Tevin Coleman. But uh, I would not take Jarek McKinnon. This is a dude that's injured all the time. Um, and even when he's not injured, I'm not a big fan. Matt Breida, however, has got a lot of potential, uh, can catch. Um, just seems like a Doug Peterson guy. I wouldn't mind Breida for like a fourth. Uh, and going into kind of mending this into those that cornerback discussion – you know, maybe the Eagles signed Darby because they're trying to shop Jalen Mills or Rasul Douglas, uh, or even Sidney Jones. That's a possibility. Um, so hopefully, you know, within the week, maybe they do something. Uh, again, it's only March, so, you know, we didn't sign LeGarrette Blunt until July, I believe, in the 2017 season. So we'll see. That's a quick update, guys. Uh, again, Andrew Sandejo. Um, 
kind of iffy about the move. Like it for depth. Hate that his name rhymes with Pendejo. Uh, Ronald Darby. Honestly, don't really like the move that much, but there's got to be a reason, and we'll see. We'll stay tuned. Uh, thanks, everybody, for watching. Again, if you haven't, please subscribe. Um, I'm not, again, I haven't completely uh, gotten the, the best of YouTube yet. Everything's coming together, but I'm not boring like some of these other guys that I'm watching are either. So uh, hit subscribe. Always be new stuff. Always talking to Eagles um, and maybe talking other stuff too. And then if you're, you haven't had enough of me yet, Check out my other channel, my professional wrestling channel, where you can see me if you hate me. You can see me get my ass whooped. And if you love me, you can see me in all my glory. Um, but there, I'll leave a link for that in the description box. Thanks again, everybody. Hopefully we have some more updates as the rest of the week goes on. Go Birds.